So you might be trying to go ahead and figure out how you can use Google Fit. Now, Google Fit is a really, really cool application that Google has made. It is a tracking, you know, a health tracking application. There's a lot of cool stuff going within it. So if you're brand new to it, I'll go and show you exactly how to set it up and how to use it. Now, the setup is pretty easy. You just download the application like this. This is basically what it looks like. You can go ahead and open up the app and it will allow you to log into your Google account and it will bring you right into this page. Now within this page, it will just be a pretty basic type of layout. So at the very top, you have your health and you have your steps. So you have your hard points, which is the outer layer, the outer circle right here. And then you have your steps, which is the inner circle. So you can see how many steps you have, what your hard points are, which is basically just like a health track, you know, number they give you. You can see your calories you've burned today, your miles and your move minutes. So that is that. Now you can also sync it with your health connect if you want to. In this case, I'll just go and click the X button. But if that is pertinent to you, then you can go and set that up there. Now it also shows you your last seven days of your health. So last seven days of your you know, steps and your hard points. So it'll show you that right there. It will also show you your weekly target. So if you have a set goal of like, hey, I want to do this you know, every week. Well, you can go and see that right here as well. And you can always tap into it to get a little bit more detail information on that particular prompt. Now, what you can also do is you can you know, enable or disable your activity tracking. There's a lot of stuff all throughout that basically just give you a little bit more, you know, like a little bit more information on your particular thing. And I think that's really cool because it just gives you a lot more. It makes you feel like you're part of a community to see the amount of stuff they actually give you here. Now, at the very top, you'll see your this little eye. It just tells you your hard points, a little bit more information about it. And then in the top right, you can also tap here if you want to change your Google account, if you want to sign out of Fit or your Fit data and privacy, you can see that information there. If you click on this plus button right here, what it's going to do is it's going to add, allow you to add your blood pressure if you're tracking that. You can add your weight, your add activity, and your workout as well. So you can add all of that stuff right into here, which is genuinely really cool. At the very bottom, if you click on that second tab, this is your journal tab. So it allows you to go through and actually keep a record of your activities. And just like the other one, you can click right here and you can add those you know, type of activities if you want to. The second tab here is basically searching for your health data. So here what you can do is you can go through and you can see and get access to all your health data that you have. So whatever you want to add here, you can go and kind of configure that. If you want to add your activity, you can go and see your activity here, your vitals, if you want to see that information, your sleep. You can go through and customize all this information, which is genuinely very cool. So that right there is another really cool thing you can do as well. And finally, at the very end, this is your profile. So you can go through and add how many steps you want, like your activity goals. You can go and see that. You can see your bedtime scheduling. You can see the information about yourself. So you can see your, you know, your gender, your weight, your height, your birthday, things like that. You can go and kind of customize as well. So at the core, that's basically how you use Google Fit. The biggest thing you're probably going to do, though, is to basically go through and see how many steps you have, see your workouts, and then add any measurements if you want. So, so you can add your you know, pressure, your blood pressure, your weight, anything like that you can add right here, too. So that's basically how it works. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button. That would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.